welcome back, Kata. It was fun in front of a live studio audience. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome to the finale of the Muppet Monster Adventure Let's Play. We are here at part 18, guys, and that was some welcome back, Carter, for you. Hi, my name's Gabe Kapkin. I was, uh, or Kaplan, I'm sorry. I was Kata and welcome back, Kata. If you guys have no idea who uh, Cotter is, look it up, and it's uncanny how much he sounds it like It is Cotter. a 1970s, 1960s? It's 70s. 1970s television show, American sitcom. It's... Now I'm kind of going into Dan Aykroyd yeah, and Blues Brothers. It's, it's and eerie. You sound just too much like him. It's so eerie. It takes place in New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey? Right? New York. I thought it was New Jersey. Is it New York? I think it's in New York. Ah, whatever. Same thing. <laughs> so, uh, here we are, though. Um, hey, where's was... Vinny Barberini at? <laughs> He's out doing something. I don't know. Ah, All hey, right. John Travolta. All right. All right. All right, we're done with that. Okay. So here we are, guys. We're this just is... we're celebrating. Yeah. We're celebrating. It's the last it's episode. the last episode. The last episode. We made it. We made it here. 18 finale. episodes. 18 episodes. 18. It's been a ride. It has. Been. Since February 11th. Yes. To uh, August 11th. August 11th. August 11th. It took us uh, February... What's after February? Six months. Six months. Cease. Cease months. Sorry. Hey, it's because I'm a sweat hog. Cut me some slack. But man, let's do it. We're going for for Pete and sake. Let's just get started on this finale. Well, I'm not gonna tell him how many things we have to collect. We're just jumping right in. We're this. jumping right in. We're jumping right in. Just like my career. Well, welcome back, Kata. <laughs> and then like this tube, it dropped. My career did. So man, would you believe though? It's gonna be a snow themed level. Snow themed level. See, the first one of this trifecta of levels wasn't it was like this isn't snow thing what is that <laughs> waka you, waka what do you think of that dude dude he's adorable oh he even had like even had like a chump now you seem now you don't man nice watch out for the goo don't fall in or we'll still like like, have, have a dollar for every time we've read this to, like, jump out as fast as you can okay dude we would be pretty rich actually do you know how rich we'd be stinking Phil. we'd be as rich as Carter. we'd be uh, yeah rich as Carter, absolutely Filthy, you think he still has a lot of money? But the show ended... I'm, I'm pretty the, sure. The show ended in, like, 19... I think, 76 or something like that was the last oh, that's season. that's when it started, I think. All 76. right, well, then, 70... It ran for, I think, four seasons. But still, though, for... Yeah, it... it so it, it stopped like, a long time ago. 1980 is when it stopped. Yeah. It either had three or four seasons, so either 1980 or 19... 79. Oh, wow. What the, what the mess? What the, uh, you gotta shoot those boys. Oh, no. This is gonna be like a little callback to a certain boss right here, actually. Uh, <laughs> the worst boss. Dude, I thought you liked this boss, though. <laughs> Did you, you uh, in that video, you said top. That was like top boss for you. Yeah, it's because, like, because of the garbage uh, noise. That the we garbage heard. noise was great. <laughs> It was so like anticlimactic that way. No, the best boss. Probably Fozzie. You the think Fozzie? Yeah. It was simple. It was a simple boss. It was right to the point. Yeah, there were yeah. bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. What are these guys? Look at this. Are they plague doctors? Or the witches? Uh, I don't. Look at their eyes. Look, look at the little bear. Yeah. Did you know in grammar, which is, you know, like, which is the right one? That is... W-H? Well, like... Like which? If you say, like... Which which is which? Yeah. Like, but if you say the phrase, which is the correct answer, that is that is grammatically incorrect. You, you should never follow the word which with is, mm -hmm. because I, I learned in my English ca class, witches are bad. But you can say which one. That's... Which one is the right one. Or which one is correct? Yeah, is what you would is is grammatically correct. So there you go. Is your is your English lesson? Oh, wow. Oh yeah. Um, what are they shooting at you? What? They, what they got a machine gun yeah, look magic with that? You see that? <laughs> you see that, dude? I think they want me dead, man. I, I yeah, they want you dead. I want you dead, kind of from from making me <laughs> sit through this. But one last episode. We are one of the last. It's finale, so. Uh... We're, we're gonna pull through. This man. is the series finale. Of Welcome back, Cotter, yeah, which Welcome doesn't back. even have Cotter in it. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. Speaking of uh, of which, though, right? Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, though, there is a Scooby Doo episode titled "Which Which Is Which." 
Are there a bunch of witches? It's a witch and a zombie. Nice. You should go back down that slide again because you missed some stars. I did miss some stars. You are correct. Just before we, just before what well, you forget, yeah. I'm not gonna forget. Um, so let's see. Uh, hug, hug the well, air. Oh uh, my goodness! Uh, you made a stink out of it. Now let's. I think it's just, yeah. We'll hit the switch back here real quick. I was intrigued by the episode that you showed me with. Uh, what's his name? Oh, the, uh, the spooky space cook with the space ghost? Oh, like, not space ghost. Um, the, with the skeleton, though, like that. No, the one with Jonathan Winters. Oh, yeah, dude. I gotta... You gotta see that one, man. It's, it's quite You said, lot. what, potato farm? Dude, like a chicken farm. Chicken farm. You guys know what we're talking about. You're talking about the... Uh, they're called the new Scooby-Doo movies. Which came out in, like, the... What? Like, it was, like, 72? <laughs> yeah. So, like, right after the original... The, the uh, new... Uh, yeah, right after the But I guess the back then original. it was new. Uh, series, but yeah, with the uh, the new Scooby Doo movies, they are an hour long, so yeah, each episode. Well, see the new, like what was new for us, yeah, they're like an hour and a half long. Mm -hmm. Like Witches Goes. You said you don't really remember that one too much. No, I remember parts of it, but I never just sat down and fully watched it. It's it's as good as Zombie Island. As good. As good. Except I just prefer Zombie Island. I've seen it the most. Yeah. Plus, Zombie Island's got like you know that Cajun feel. Yeah, and it's just more of a nostalgia yeah. feel from Zombie Island. What, what, what about, uh... What was the one with, like, the... Alien Invaders. Yeah, that was one I was going to bring up. Was like, what was that? They kind of looked like broccoli in a way. Right? Yeah, they did. That was... That was the third one to come out. And that was the fourth one. Mm -hmm. You remember what the fourth one was? Um, that one, uh, I do forget. It was... The weakest one. But not my least favorite one. It's Cyber Cyber Chase. Cyber Chase. Okay. It's the weakest one, both animation wise, and just content. Oh, wow. Um. Uh. Because it was the, it came out like 2007. It was the last one to come out. Yeah. Because both Witches, Ghost, and Zabion, I believe, came out what like 90. 798 somewhere I think like, there. Yeah, like 98. Yeah, somewhere in there. Maybe 99. Come on. There we go. All right. Um, oh. Okay. Hey, you hit a checkpoint. Um, but yeah, dude, this... Overall, I mean, Zombie Island is just... Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Dude, like, the, the scene that always, like, stuck out the most to me, it was terrifying, was when they run the zombie over with the car... Yeah. And Fred's like, let's unmask this ghoul. Dude, yeah. And he rips off the head, and, like, he's just holding a head. Dude, like, now, I was a kid the first time I saw it. You know, obviously yeah. I was too young when it first came out. Yeah. We were both too young. Yeah. But when I got older, you know, I watched, so, like, 2001, mm -hmm. I watched it, and that's so scary. Now, I don't know if that was the first one, like, where they introduced, like, it's actually real, like, what they're dealing with. Because uh, um, I think, like, was well, it in the 80s, maybe they had some like some episodes like that? I think where so. Where Shaggy turns, like, a werewolf or something? Uh, yeah, that, was, like, the, wearing, that was the 90s. It, like, he's, like, wearing a red that shirt was, like, instead of green. That was, like, 95 or something like that. Something that like was that. the reluctant werewolf. So I guess that's kind of... Actually, there is, uh... That, it's about racing. Racing? Yeah. What? It's, it's like Dracula puts on, like, a... Isn't, like, Scrappy in that, too, I think? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, we don't... Yeah, he's... No. The, Throw him in the scrapyard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What would you, uh, what were your thoughts on, like, the when they were, like, little kids? I like that. Puppet Name Scooby-Doo? Yeah. I did like that. That came out what? Like, like uh, uh, 80s? Was it the 80s? Yeah. That was that was a good little little show. Yeah. I and then like I that. even, uh, kind of unpopular opinion, I really enjoyed Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue. Uh-huh. When they were teenagers. Yeah. And it was just the two of them. You remember that? Yeah. It was, like, 2009 or something like that. Uh-huh. By the way, the the first slide we went down, yeah, there's still a star you missed. There's still a star back all at right. the beginning of the level. Well, but, all right, I'll do some backtracking. Yeah, but um, that was like Scooby Doo's is always timeless. It is. <laughs> Bless you. Hey. Bless you. Hey. Gazuntai. Uh, um, but do you have a favorite uh, uh, villain from the series, though? We can go movie or the like show. just overall like, from. The '60s show to the the now series. Yes, Don Knotts. Don Knotts is uh, as like Jason Voorhees. Come on, seriously, man, seriously. 
Um, probably was it minor forty nine or whatever. You like that one? Yeah. Oh, the guys with the big beard. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mine might be the uh, the creeper actually. Is that uh? Is that like to do with the flat top? Yeah, basically, like, he's, got like, mm. he's got like a green jacket on. Like green looks like Frankenstein's monster. And he keeps saying creeper over and over again. I think, yeah, it took place like on, on a farm. They're having a high school dance. What is it with them and farms? Like, them and farms, man. It's it's questionable. And Jonathan Winters. Like, what are they doing now that the public eye and farms, the, the game? What are they up to uh, out there? Wait, okay. Now your thoughts on the live action 2000... What, 2002 and... Uh, yeah, or 4 or something. Like that. 2004 and then like 2006? Something um, like that? Not the biggest fan, although I did like really? Monsters Unleashed more than the first one. Really? I did, actually. That, mm, I, I disagree with you on that one. And the only reason why is because you get to see more classic monsters. That is true. Know? That's the only reason why. And Seth Green's in Monsters Unleashed. But in all honesty, I'm not big big fans of, like, of the movies. And stuff. I, I dig the movies. I, I dig the live action ones. So like I, Matthew, I do Matthew per- Lillard, though. I, like, I, well, yeah. Matthew Lillard, you know, is now he's now Shaggy. Full time. Rightfully so, though. I think he deserves. Oh yeah, he's very good. Speaking of Shaggy, dude, I recently watched the movie Hackers. Hackers. Yeah, that movie is some kind of awful, but everything great. Have you mm. ever seen Hackers? Uh, no. Wow. Angelina Jolie. It's got uh, Matthew Lillard's in it. Um. You know the movie Chasing Amy with uh, the Kevin Smith movie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know the guy who, like, thinks he's in the Black Panthers? He wears, like, the black leather jacket. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that actor is in Hackers. Uh, sh- the guy from Short Circuit who plays the Indian guy? Uh-huh. He's in it. Uh, just It's just overall, it's very 90s. Mm-hmm. Very 90s. But it's, it's a great... It's great garbage movie that's all it's about man it's entertainment right it's oh yeah the entertainment just like the scooby-doo movie <laughs> see i think uh, i owned you owned uh, what was that again i owned the vhs copy of scooby-doo uh-huh. the first live action movie so i just have i get like a nostalgia trip Quit using the bat. I, I meant to uh, hit the. <laughs> I meant to spin. Oops. All right. Um, <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> see. Okay. Doctor Fiji. No. That's a that's a blast in the past right there. Yes. With bad man. Right, I don't have to worry about getting another heart because I died. Um, uh, but anyways. Anyway. So I have a lot of. Plus, I, I'm a big Rowan at at. Kinson fan. Uh huh. And, you know, him is whatever his name was. Sugar Ray is in the live action first one. Every morning is a halo. <laughs> Every morning. But, but there is a lot of nice thing. You got a racist guy? Dude, look, look at him. He's got a nice fro. He's ready to go. Do you know who else has a nice fro? Kata. He does have a nice fro. Uh. But I, I could definitely see. You, you know, because I, whenever I watched Scooby-Doo, I was, I was more interested in just Shaggy and Scooby. And, you know, you, you seem to go more towards the monster side. Like, you, you like the, like, you know, the monster's motive, stuff like that. You enjoy the, the different types. Because, you know, I'm a, I like just spooky stuff in general. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, And I just, I like just dumb comedy. It's right there, by the way, the one star you missed. Oh. That was a good save. Oh, good gracious. All right. Um, nope, up there. There you go. No. Oh, what? You. Uh, there you goes Charlie. It. You screwed it. What, Curly? Charlie. A wise guy. A wise guy. <laughs> oh. You can't get back up there. What? <laughs> it's just too good to be true. Oh. Uh, so I've always enjoyed more of the human side of, of the movies. Mm-hmm. And you've always, because you are more of a horror buff than me, that you've gone more towards the monster side, you know? But you got to admit, there's some very iconic monsters. There are some very, but 
Now, dude, of just the original, like, 60s Scooby-Doo, uh, which villain is your favorite? Would you pick? Is mine or 49 or not from the OG? Oh, wait, yeah, you are. You are. You're right. It is the OG. And if not, I would go with the, with the, with the Phantom or whatever. The, with the scuba mask. Um, whatever his name is. What's his name? Oh. He has the, the big uh, scuba tank. Yeah, it's like Captain, uh, Captain Keller, I think is what his name is. Okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's got the diving suit. Skeleton. Like skeleton face? Oh, the one I showed you. I sent you a text message. Yeah. Like that one? Uh, like the it? like the Martian or like that? He's like no, blue glows. No, I'm talking about. He's just like a like a sea diver. Yeah, he's like yellow. Yeah. Yeah, he, he didn't glows. have like a skeleton. Oh, did he not? No. <laughs> I guess I'm just taking your image. <laughs> and... uh, but no, he it's it's great too though. But funny enough, it was like the the, the chase songs. Didn't start till season two, actually. The chase. Ooh, dude, that's trivia that's that like I needed in my life. Straight up, uh, six, dude. Straight up, six. It was, it was okay. Blah. Yeah. Which is weird, is because season two didn't start till 1970. Ooh. And uh, it, that just rakes 60s though. It really does. Uh oh. Dude. You know what's great? Uh, the for the Aqua Teen, hundredth episode, technically the fiftieth episode. Where they're like, they do a Scooby Doo parody. Yeah, yeah. That that cracks me up. Isn't that like one of the big jokes in it? Where like the creator of the show is like, well, technically this is only the fiftieth episode. Yeah. <laughs> that was. And then fun. shakes like, no, this is. <laughs> that has like, and has like a real Carl. Yeah. Kind of eerie, but yeah. I think the uh, guy who actually played because it's on uh, uh, volume seven that I have. That's when the hundredth episode was. I think so. Well, he has like a guy dressed up, and they kind of like look realistic too. Yeah, like, you remember that? And uh, it's but, probably the voice actor. There was a guy, uh, the guy dressed as Carl. He like won that in like a competition they have. Uh, oh, that's like, not to actually cast him. I thought that was no. It was like a Burger King or something that had like the competition, like <laughs> what I read about. What? Yeah, and he won, and the guy. I thought he like nailed it though. It was Carl. He really did. See, I thought that was the Carl voice actor. No, uh, uh-uh. the actual I think it's Dave Lewis who voices him, but he voices also like everyone else. He voices like everyone else. Yeah, There's what two part. guys I think, isn't it? Mo- yeah, he does Meatwad as well. Meatwad, Shake. Yeah, but Shake and uh, Frolic, of course, they're uh, different actors. Um, but no, like yeah, he, that's kind of kind of crazy. Wait, Meat Meatwad and Carl share the same voice Shane, actor. The same voice actor. That's that's a big like difference. <laughs> yeah, and, well, it's almost like Rick and Morty in a sense because. Morty's voice is so innocent and, like, squeaky. Yeah. And then Rick's is, you know, obviously graggled and gross-sounding. Mm-hmm. Which those are both, both voiced by Justin Roiland. It's just quite a shift in the tone, that's oh, for yeah. sure, man. Can I use your pool to make a dog? <laughs> no, you may, no not. you may not. But, Carl, you're not using it. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't mean that you can use it to make your dogs. Dude, that is, that is like just the show. I, I told you, there's like, if I had to make a top ten, that's gotta be my top ten shows of all time list. It has to be for me. See, I would say more like, I would definitely say in the top 50, 100%. Really? I don't know if I'd put it like that high. What about top 20? Would you even put it in top 20? Maybe top 25. 25? Maybe top 25. It's, it's gotta be worth a top 25 at least. I'm pretty, I'm pretty particular with my television shows. I can tell you, I can tell you it's on my all time, top, top five right now. In no discernible order, uh, Twin Peaks, or Twin Cheeks, as you call it. Um, My Name is Earl. My Name is Earl's up there. Ash vs. Evil Dead. Yeah. I see I've seen a lot of shows. Uh, Seinfeld? Seinfeld's in top ten. Good good dodge. What a What a witch. Uh, actually, you know what? This is, this is just how we uh, Spin City, actually. Spin City? I'm a big Spin City fan. Because I like Michael J. Fox a lot. Uh huh. Now you get to go back and slide through all the slides again. Because you missed a lot of stars in the slides. Oh, I, I did go back and do that. No, that was for the minigame, buddy. This no, star- not the minigame. I, I did, went back and did that. Because I was so close, I went and did it after the minigame. Trust me, we'll see. Are you we'll sure? Because I think there's still there's still a blue star there, and it's killing me. We'll it's, see. It's we'll killing see, me because I'm pretty sure I went back and did this. Not in the mini game. No, you did go back to this, but you you there were two stars there. You collected one, but you missed another. Here, I'm going to bet you. 
You see, I got all of them, man. You see that? A Festivus for the rest of it. <laughs> Serenity now. Serenity now. Dude. Tinsel's distracting. Tinsel's distracting. Dude, you're, George, a, big fan, you're a big fan of the feet of strength, man, right? Yeah, the feet of strength. George Festivus has no tool feet of strength. Uh, <laughs> wow, where are we? I'm trying to get back to the... Where uh, are we at? Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Um, there. Right there. Nope. Because I'm trying right. to get... Nope. Nope. Right there. Where? Right there. Oh, that takes me up. There you go. Yeah, the piece of strength. Ah, uh, George Costanza and his father, what, Frank? Frank, yep. Frank Costanza. I showed you a picture. Season, even, that's season four, and Frank Costanza's not Jerry Stiller. Bam. It should be, that's... That is not enough Kermit cookies. Oh, oh, uh, I see. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, I see. I'll say a couple of times. <laughs> you guys don't know what that is. That's a classic movie right there, isn't it, man? Yeah, a movie that I fell asleep in. <laughs> Last 15 minutes. Last 15 minutes, it. but it was like... Uh, That's it, buddy. That's it, 1801. We're outie. Outie. Dude. I'm, I'm actually I'm actually feeling a little overwhelmed, man. All we have is the Guys, boss. that's it, though. Yeah, we, we finished it. We finished uh, for Pete and sake. I mean, we are out of there, guys. We're not done with the episode, though. No. We are going to be taking on the final boss. Yes. You know, as much as I, I, I hate on this game, um, I'm kind of, you know, I'm feeling a little... We've it, It's been a journey. It has been a journey, man. It has been. It hasn't just been, you know, wham, bam, thing. It's been... Six months we've dedicated this game. Yes. Here it is. That's half a year. Finale, man. And would you like to read the uh, the title? I would like to the, read the, the title. The Mystery of the Master. Still morphed. Oh, it's like Phantom of the Opera. Yes, sir. So we're ready to take on the Master or what, man? Has darkness imprisoned me? Huh. That's the wrong song. I was trying to do a master of puppets. But I'll, I'll take that as a yes, though. I'll yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Let's do it. It's the final countdown. Ooh. It's the final boss fight. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. This one, you gotta keep moving, man. This one keeps It on. took us six months. You gotta keep on your toes in this fight, I'm not gonna lie. To beat this damn game. Look. Oh, boy. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Question dun, is like, dun. where are we though? Like, I wonder like, where? What is this? Like, it kind of reminds me of, uh, like, if you were to take his elevator down, it looks like where Frankenstein's lab would be. Yeah. It's. And that is like where the lightning strikes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what he's standing on is where. Mm-hmm. The monster would be lying, and it would raise up, and the lightning that would open up the lightning would strike the center. What? Yeah, look, that's so bad. I want to say he's gonna do something crazy right here. Yep. Oh, I gotta. I forgot about that. I gotta do to all of them. Yeah, you'll see what happens, man. This is a. Uh, but like I said, it's definitely on your toes, one. For sure, we gotta keep moving. Last one. Last one. Come on, boy. Come on. Yeah, boy. Wow. Dude, he just got a, he got a little squash there. I'm not going to lie. He got, he got leponed. He got stomped, boy. Dude, he took his soul. I took his soul. Um, you know, man, what do you think, though, the, the master boss? What do you think of this? I'm digging it so far. Now, is would you say uh, Fozzie's still the best, though? Yeah. So far? It's so simple. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's going fast now. Like, I think, can't you just run over it and it stays up? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But no, it doesn't stay up because it will go back down if you don't watch it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So I was going to say, why don't you just, you know, activate them all right. and just let him do his yeah, thing? Yeah, it just goes right back down, though. Um, here he... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Da, 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 da. So, man, what, what would Cotter say about this wall side? That's the question. This boss fight's really nice. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh. It, it instantly dropped. It's like, you know what? I'm good. 
<laughs> He's getting mad about you breaking his windows. He does not like me. Oh, oh. breaking his windows. No, you're stun locked. I am stun locked. No, oh. don't do this. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Are you kidding me? Dude. That's some that's some garbage, dude. He like locked you. He did place. stun lock me. See that? The screen of Gribbles of Fire. I recently watched that movie. Yeah. Not very good. I, I don't think I've really seen that movie over through it. I'll pass. No, the, the song though. I do like the song. Oh, goodness gracious! Great balls of fire. Now I'm just gonna keep going. Be safe. <sighs> that stun lock though. Yeah, he he got you real good. It's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. I'm gonna make mincemeat out of you. You chop off your big toe. <laughs> we don't do what he says. <laughs> you cut off your big toe. Ooh, that's tender. That's it. Homie, we finished it. The master. That's the end of the game. That's it. And surprisingly enough, that's not Dr. Honey Dude, it's his uncle. <laughs> I can't believe it. So now he's just telling you, like, what happened. What I, what yeah, okay. Yeah, so, uh, I'm already. We just beat it. I'm done. Okay, so we did it, man. I wow. We you a great debt of That's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. If there isn't a, a great ending cutscene, I'm going to be disappointed. I want to see... Oh, yes. Oh, look at his lips. Oh, yes. Man, look at this. Was it just a dream the whole time? Yeah. But the, but the ending is where just wait. Like, it's so weird what happens here. What is this, Lurch? <laughs> You ring. Hey, Robin. I'm Gonzo. This is the part is like, you were there. And you were there. And you were there. And you were there. I was revived. <laughs> Why is this piggy? Ew. <laughs> I don't like that close up of uh, Kermit there. Look at that. Oh. Look at Look at Look at Honeydew's hands. But you and I both agreed on this uh, and many parts ago, right? Yeah. Kermit should have been the second to final boss fight in the game, I think. Yeah. He should have been. Dinner is served. Look how small he is. And this is kind of weird. Because apparently it was all a dream. But, uh, yeah. It's <laughs> little, uh... Kermit looks so gross. <laughs> He looks like roadkill. <laughs> you look at him walk. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So it was all a dream. And just watch this, though. This is what's weird. It's gonna come out of the painting. What? So, what? So was it? Um, what is he? What? So, so we don't know if it was all a dream, but... Uh, it was all a dream! <laughs> Which song is that? <laughs> Question. Now we got their uh, That's ending. That's the choice yeah. BIG. Was this I Will Survive? <laughs> hey, I'm Gonzo. But dude, just watch like the size comparison because Robin will come out, right? And they're all taking bows now. Yeah. And you'll see like the monster... Uh, oh my goodness. Kermit, dude. Like he chases him and just look at the size difference from this point of view. It's absolutely frightening, dude. Is, is Kermit like huge? Ridiculously huge. Look how huge Fozzie is. Yeah, man. He kind of looks like a potato from this distance. Look, look, at, his, look at his knees. <laughs> Look at Kermit's knees right now. The way he's walking. Dude, he's walking really groovy. Like, he's got like a man. pimp walk. See what I mean about the like light green? Yeah. Imagine if the sat wasn't there. It was just gone. It would be really weird. Oh, oh no. This is your boy, man. It's your my boy. boy. Clifford. Hey. Whoa. You play some good jazz music. <laughs> is her mouth open? Is she panting like a dog? <laughs> We get a credit for this schmuck who's in it for like one minute. Yeah, for like one minute, man. Do honey do and just, come out? Look how tiny oh, he is. But just tiny. Dude, I, can like barely, I need like a magnifying glass. But wait till uh, old Kermit comes back, dude. It's it's crazy. This gives us a sense of how like small Robin is. What? Look at that. Look at that Why is he so it. big? Yeah, it's insane. Do you know who... We, they missed out on, like, my two favorite combo. They, oh, the, the they didn't man. show... No, they didn't show 
Honeydew, or Beaker in the zinc credits. And they're pretty integral in you. They also didn't show Pepe. No, they didn't. Which, I mean, as much as... We, wait, they go bow, okay? Everyone else will. So, I mean, do you want to read the whole message here? For, <clears> yeah, the final. <throat> nah, Dios mio. You have done so well, okay? Not only did you save all the Muppets, but you fit all the evil energy from the world back in your tiny backpack. Take a bow, okay? Everyone else will. Thank you, Cotter. Thank you. You're welcome. That. Where's my paycheck? I gotta feed my family. All right, all right. But, uh, yeah, guys, th that was it. This was the uh, Muppet Monster Adventure finale. Thank you for tuning in so much, guys. I'm not, I'm not okay with that ending. We did all that work. We did. For what? That? For, uh... That? For, to take a bow, yes. <laughs> to take a bow, okay? <laughs> Everyone um, else will. But guys, until the next LP, which is a mystery right now, but we got, we a, know. We got a special treat. We know what it is. Up, don't we, man? We, we gotta, know. Yeah. And we actually have plans uh, of maybe uh, of changing up the, uh, the intro song, too, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, maybe changing the the color to the opening. Oh that yeah, we do change it up. Uh, just to fit into the theme of the next game. Oh yeah. So, but well, yeah, we guys, could, we could probably tell them the colors. Maybe they could try to figure it out. Go ahead, man. Tell them the uh, the colors you have. In the mind. Uh, the color themes. The color theme for the next game is uh, red and white. So uh, do what you will with that information. And uh, until we see you again. Thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in to the Muppet Monster Adventure Let's Play. And uh, we will see you in our next LP, guys. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace out.